Welcome to A Taste for Life. Thank you for joining us again today. Uh, we were uh, we haven't had done a show in a little while because of obviously uh, the Christmas holidays. Uh, we've been uh, obviously pretty busy with the holidays, but we're back and ready to go. Uh, so today I wanted to uh, let you guys try uh, with us some a whole Ladusa Paquilo peppers. Okay, uh, you know cultivated in Navarra, uh, the region of Spain. Uh, very famous the Paquilo and. A couple things that they say in their description here. Um, we recommend to serve paquilo peppers hot, although today we'll taste them a little bit cold because, um, you know, it's just a little bit easier for filming. But uh, but they say better slowly uh, heated in olive oil in a pan. Then the paquilo peppers can be served for garnishing with meats and fish dishes, alone with some oil or with tapas with ham, cheese, foie gras, uh, smoked salmon. All right, so. Uh, Really, let's give this a try and uh, see how it tastes. And then, oh, and then secondly, we're going to move on to uh, asparagus tips from Spain. Now, these also have their denominations of origin. Um, a lot of there's a lot of problems in Spain with um, some of the piquillo peppers and some of the asparagus. There, some of them are being made in China and then repackaged in Spain, uh, and people don't know that they taste very different. And the same with the piquillo pepper in South America. Okay, so this is a Spanish one. From Spain, okay. Mm, has a nice aroma. So let me show you what it looks like here. Oops. Now, by the way, this is roasted over beech wood, right? You can smell the beech wood. Um, so now I could definitely see these warmed up a little bit, and obviously with some of the recommendations they gave. But let's uh, let's taste this. See what it tastes like. Wow, that's real good. That's a lot better too than the one I had, um, um, you know, the one I had that was from South America. Now again, definitely got a beech wood kind of roasted taste to it. So you got to like that kind of taste, right? But I could totally see why they say to warm them up. I could see that being very, very good, okay? Um, and I think that's pretty much it. But I wanted to show you so you can get a better look at that. Okay. All right. So next. Oh, by the way, the brand. I'm sorry. The brand is Rosara. Okay. Uh, let's see here. In part of Navarra, Spain, Conservas Artisanal Rosara uh, is the brand. Okay. And they uh, pro product of Spain again, roasted in beech wood. Nice. The packaging looks pretty good too. Uh, even though I tore off some of it, so I could open it easy on the show here. All right, now next is um, the asparagus tips. Uh, again, the brand is Rosara, okay? And this also has its denomination of origin as authentic uh, Spanish, um, you know, uh, asparagus, okay? So let's see. Now, by the way, I tried some of these and I didn't put it on a show, but I tried ones, like I said, from South America and then the one uh, that was from China and even said on the packaging, you know, from China, um, and then I guess repackaged here. So let's see now. Now this is a Spanish white asparagus, okay? It has a very different aroma too than the other one. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, definitely better. Different taste than the one that we tried uh, from another brand here. Maybe we should do a show on the other one. Because definitely a different taste, you know? Totally see this on a salad. Hmm. Definitely a different taste. You'd be surprised at the difference. Um, I didn't think in a in a, a jar it would be that much different, but it is. So, um, just wanted to uh, do that uh, quick show on these today. Um, gonna enjoy those on some salad. Gonna add those. Gonna saute that for a minute or two and warm it up. Now, I wanted to in uh, the background. We figured it'd be good for each of the shows uh, to show you our website. Ataste.net. This is our logo. Please check out our ways, our website, Ataste.net. So thank you very, very much, and uh, and welcome, and thank you for joining us at A Taste for Life again. And uh, have a great day. We'll do another show uh, soon.